Hey guys, so the next step, we're going to go ahead and go onto our enemy. Uh, you're gonna go right next to this code since it's just the easiest. And the next thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to hover over this when I start as a clone, uh, forever if touching bullet, then change score. We're going to go ahead and duplicate this and we're going to go ahead and update this. So if I'm touching my player, then I'm going to change my player health by negative one. Okay. And you want to make sure to do this to all the enemies that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here, duplicate this, and do the same thing. So if I'm touching my player, change my player health. Uh, and you can also play with the amount of health that gets removed every time that happens. So I'm removing negative two health for this type of enemy. Now, the problem is right now we have it so that if uh, the enemy ends up touching the player, we lose the game and we also broadcast the end screen. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect this and delete it from both of them. So both of my enemy, I'm just going to go ahead and hover over, make sure I disconnect it and delete it. And I'm going to go ahead and test everything out. Uh, and I'll add the score somewhere else for right now. So click on play. I'm going to select. Here's my player's health. So it's working. But it's happening very fast. So the next thing I want to go ahead and do is I want to go ahead and add a buffer of time before the next health is taken away from me. So where we added these to our enemy, we're going to go ahead and go to the control. And we're going to add a wait one second underneath it. And we're going to go ahead and do that to both of them just so that I have time to run away from the enemy and it's not just killing me the entire time. Okay, so now that I have that, now I need to be able to lose. So we're going to go inside of the player health. Okay. And then we're going to go into the yellow events tab. Sorry, not the player health, the player sprite. We're going to go inside the yellow events tab and we're going to use when I receive. And again, same thing. If you only have the intro screen, you're using the play game. And if you have the character select like I do, you'll use the start game. So since I have it, I'll use start game. I'm going to go into control. I'm going to do forever. If... And I'm going to check. So I'm going to use my equal sign. On the empty bubble, I'll use my player health. And on the 50, I'll use zero. So if my player's health is equal to zero, then I'm going to go to the yellow events tab. I'm going to go ahead and broadcast end screen. And I'm also going to go into control and add a stop all. So now if I go ahead and test this out, let's click on select, you can see that I'm moving, I accidentally get touched by an enemy, it doesn't eat my health too quickly, and there we go. So everything is working, that's awesome. Uh, the last step that we're going to do for week three deep dive is going to be to adjust a little bit the uh, character select screen for those of you who have it.